First question is from Mason Burnt. Can I or should I train my arms on off days for optimal muscle growth or are compound lifts sufficient in developing arms? You know, frequency, although now I'm starting to see people really start to play with frequency of training. Um, it's it, it for a long time was a variable that was not utilized uh, effectively. I mean, you can train muscle groups quite often throughout the week so long as you modify the intensity. Yeah, just got to manage your intensity. Yeah, you can't train your arms all the time super hard, but you can train them often if a lot of those workouts are also easy. So if you're doing two hard workouts a week where your arms are getting a lot of work, can you add more volume, more frequency, and get your arms to respond even more? You can. Just keep the intensity kind of low. The best results I ever got uh, with myself and with clients was exactly that, playing with frequency. And so theoretically, you could work out your arms five days a week, uh, two of them relatively hard, the rest of them kind of easy, giving yourself a pump and feeling the muscles work, and that's about it. But you'll get great results doing that. Now, what are your guys' thoughts on the the individual variants here of like, because however, how, and I I can't help but think of Justin, right, in this situation, because I think if you watch the two of us do a, a bunch of the same lifts, it just looks different. And, uh, and how he recruits uh, muscle to do a pull-up or a row is different than how I recruit muscle to do a pull-up or a row. And some people, when they do compound lifts, their their arm their biceps um, and triceps develop incredible with just doing that alone. Uh, I'm not like that. Like if I if I just do compound lifts, my arms don't really develop nearly as much as if I put some sort of attention and focus on it. I think Justin's the opposite of that. I think that he can do a lot of the the functional training he does and just stick to a lot of the compound lifts he does, and his arms put on size really well. How much do you think of this is, uh, you know, genetic and then the individual variants of how people recruit muscle when they do these lifts? That's hard to say. There's yeah. always a huge uh, genetic variance. I, re I mean, regardless, right? But I mean, if you look at like, you look at power lifters who, who transition to bodybuilding, right? So these are guys who've been lifting heavy, mm -hmm. very strong, lots of compound lifts, and they move over to bodybuilding. And what are the, what are the areas that they typically will lack? Arms. Yep. It's usually arms, right? Because they, they didn't explode. They didn't do a lot of uh, isolation and volume for the arms because of powerlifting. Mm -hmm. So I think, regardless, you'll value from you'll, you'll yeah, excuse me you'll, you'll get value from doing a little bit more volume and frequency. But you got to modify the intensity. Yeah, I definitely think there's there's both. Like it, both provide value, and and I think that in, incorporating both, like especially doing like the gross motor movements, and then uh, you know like adding the frequency with isolation movements. Obviously, that's like a, a favorite recipe of mine. Uh, but yeah, I do, there, there's, there's the opposite too. Like there's people that only stick with, um, you know, doing isolation movements all the time and doing bodybuilder style training, but then all of a sudden they'll, they'll do, you know, heavy pull-ups, they'll do mm -hmm. deadlifts and all of a sudden like their arms get affected, like they've never got affected before. Right. So it's just, I, I think it's just introducing a new variable in the mix that really gets them to respond. And by the way, this is how maps aesthetic is designed, right? So we have three foundational days, which uh, are mostly your compound lifts where you're kind of hitting the entire body. And then you have two days a week that are focus sessions and the focus sessions are designed to be moldable for the person. So if buys and tries are the area that you want to develop up your arms, then you would have focus sessions where you're doing a lot of these isolation exercises on those other two days. So you have the all the compound lifts you normally do. And then so the, all they are are volume builders that we've built into the programming. And it's customizable to the person based off of what areas that you want to develop on your body. So if it's your arms, your shoulders, doesn't matter what muscle, you pick the muscle and then we show you how to build it into the program. That's That program was designed for somebody who has a question like this where they're like, hey, I want to mm. bring up a body part and that's how you do it. In fact, if you go to mindpumpfree.com, there's a guide there. It's free on how to build a bigger arms. So you can just download it. It's totally free. And we go into a little more detail on some of the things you do to help develop your arms.